Okay, now the story of Green Lantern Rise of the Manhunters starts off with you as a Green Lantern already. You are Hal Jordan, just like in the movie that's coming out, and you already are a Green Lantern. You are on the home planet of Oa, which is the home planet for all the Green Lanterns, and you're just there repaying respects to some dead alien. I'm guessing it's a an alien you'll meet in the movie, I'm not really sure. Never read the comics, but anyway, you're paying your respects, and out of nowhere, these Manhunters come out, which, of course, Manhunters, they just want to come up and kill everything, because, you know, they're Manhunters, that, you know, the name Hunter is in their name. And, of course, when you put Man in there, it's not very good. They come out, they want to kill everything, they want to kill all the Green Lanterns, they want to blow up their home world, <laughs> consider them useless, and... That's really the story. You have to go and stop them. You are Ryan Reynolds uh, or Hal Jordan, and you have to go and stop them. And on your way, you'll meet some other characters. You'll experience some betrayal. And there you go. There's the story of Green Lantern Rise of the Manhunters. Let's go on to the sound. Not, not, not much else to say about the story. It's, it's generic. Whatever. Let's go on to the sound. Okay, now the sound in the game was actually something really surprising in this game because I was expecting maybe a voice cast of just a bunch of nobodies trying to play the characters in the movie. And I was really surprised when I heard that Ryan Reynolds is actually voicing the main character in the game just like he's playing the main character in the movie. And he does a really good job in this. I think the voice acting, even though I think no one else plays their roles from the movie inside this game, I think everybody else did a decent job, especially him because he has a lot of dialogue in this film. Film, I mean, in this game, and he does a great job. He really does. The sound design itself sounds good. I mean, when you get more special, I mean, yeah, more special moves and stuff, they all sound pretty similar. When you smash the ground, it sounds like what you would, do, what would it would sound like when you smash the ground. You know, sound design is good, and the soundtrack is good too. But overall. The sound is great because of the voice acting. Even though Ryan Reynolds does a great job, everybody else did a really good job too. So that was really surprising. Let's go on to the graphics. Alright, now the graphics in the game are, again, surprisingly really good in this game. When I opened this game up, I was like, oh god, this game's gonna look terrible like Thor, the video game did. I opened it up, I put it in, the first shot is a big scale shot of Oa, the planet of uh, the Green Lanterns, and it looked great, it really did. Of course, it was a cutscene when it got into the game, it didn't look as good, but it still looked really good. The environments looked really shiny and futuristic kind of look. And it looked really nice. The character models, definitely for Ryan Reynolds' character, Hal Jordan, looked really, really good. And the other special effects with some of the ring powers that you get look really nice. Overall, I thought the graphics in this game were very, very good. I mean, they were amazing, but were very, very good. So let's go on to the gameplay. Alright, now the gameplay for Green Lantern, the video game, is nothing amazing. But I'll tell you right here, it is a lot of fun to play this game, and mostly because it is just a simple old brawler that really works. It really does. It's a lot of fun to play, just to kill enemies, upgrade your stuff. It really is. In this game, it's, you know, it's a linear game. It's not like it's going to be open world or anything. Not surprising. I mean, it would have been cool if you could explore Oa or something like that in an open world, but that, had, that has to require a really big budget. I wasn't expecting that from this game. What we do get is a really good combat system with a whole bunch of different ring upgrades which bring a lot to the game because there's about 15 ring powers you could do like a hammer uh, you can make your green lantern ring into a hammer or, or to a bat or to mines and stuff you can use that against the enemies you can also upgrade your like will strength your power uh, your, your rage ability which will make you just invincible and you could go destroy shit and it's just a lot of fun it really works it really does and I really enjoyed this there is also another part of the game there is a bunch of flying sequences in it uh, sequences in the game which play out a lot like a much slower version of Afterburner if you ever played that classic arcane game Afterburner which is really insane crazy fast and you just blow everything up and this it's much slower but it feels a lot like that the way the camera is and the way you move around and you shoot enemies you just hold one button and you just keep shooting them and you use missiles sometimes and there's only about three or four times you do this so it doesn't get that repetitive but it's not that great either uh, it's not too much where you go, oh, it's so repetitive. It's more like, ah, it's about 10 minutes each mission. It's like, okay, it could have been about five or six mission, I mean, five or six minutes, and it would have been fun enough. And it, it's a little too long, but besides that, everything else is a lot of fun in this game. I highly recommend a rental for this game, and if it's about 30 bucks, then rent, then buy it. Why not? It's actually a good game. There you go. There's my review for Green Lantern Rise of the Manhunters. Hope you enjoyed it. It's actually a really good movie video game. Thank you, and goodbye.